Now, what do you think, uh, you know, of, of, of this uh, of the small cap performance? Is it too late to get in? Have the uh, already the gains passed by? No, not really. I think uh, a lot of them have uh, been getting their uh, businesses in shape, uh, adjusting you know, over the past year, and they've come out in pretty good shape now. And now that we know more about the demand outlook, I think some of them are really set to do very well from here. Okay. How are they expected to do well? Because we're expecting uh, some sort of bubble forming in terms of prices of commodities. It looks like a copper might be on the brink and other names, other commodities as well. Yeah, look, I think um, there's certainly going to be volatility in the commodity prices, but the companies that I get attracted to and I think, you know, do offer superior returns are those companies that have uh, got strong fundamentals, got very good operating businesses and can make very good money at even lower commodity prices. And, uh, you know, one example would be in the nickel space, a company like Western Areas bringing on new production. It'll be very low cost, very competitive, and, you know, they're going to make... Um, good impact on the bottom line. And um, Peter, what's the best bet in commodities right now? Because we have a lot of buying from central banks of gold trying to diversify from the U.S. dollar and of course a copper triple digit gains actually the best commodity performer last year. What's the outlook for this year? What's going to be the outperformer? Well, yeah, we of the metals that we look at um, you know, across the spectrum, we think the, in the base metal space, uh, copper still has the best fundamentals because the demand looks more robust and the stockpiles are much lower than some of the other metals. But we also think gold's going to continue to play an active role for investors and the price is going to be well supported, partly because uh, we are seeing continued decline in mine production. But there's uh, clearly a, a big appetite for gold out there as a, an insurance policy against the financial system, which still is creaking and groaning, as we've seen in Greece um, recently. Mm -hmm. but, you know, there's net central bank buying as gold as well. So the fundamentals look good. Okay, well, let's talk about one of these gold producers, a small cap that we mentioned in the introduction to this segment, uh, Avoca Resources, because you, along with nine other analysts that we surveyed, have a buy rating on this uh, gold producer. Why do you like this stock in particular? I mean, this is going up against the other big gold producing names in Australia, such as Newcrest, Lee Heer, et etc. et cetera. Yeah, we really like the the way Avoca Resources is uh, structured, uh, fundamentally very well run, and its main activities are just in the Kalgoorlie district of Western Australia, a fabulous gold producing region. And this company has really identified some major new deposits. They've been very good at exploring and bringing in a, a, a new mine that's producing very, very strongly, very profitable. And because of their strength, they're now expanding that uh, focus in the region. They've just, um, they're just completing a takeover of a nearby uh, gold producer, which is not done nearly as well, but the expiration upside and their main asset uh, should be you know, a useful addition to Avoca. So we think Avoca is really starting to power up on its operations, and we think it's in a highly prospective area where there'll be more discoveries. Yeah, and Peter, people say because of Avoca's size and how well it's done, it's possibly a takeover target. What do you think of that? Yeah, look, uh, maybe down the track it might be, but I think um, there's a lot of growth that they can uh, uh, go through before that stage. But there's no doubt the big gold companies around the world are all struggling to you know, increase their reserves. And in fact, they're, you know, they're normally having to buy reserves. Um, Avoca is um, in the happy position of being very good at exploring and finding resources and reserves in its own areas. So it could become a target for sure.